Hey YouTube, welcome back to the channel, and today we're jumping in some two five cash games, buying for this game's five hundred dollars. So hijack opens, we threat get called, huge flop, we flop top two. Go ahead and go small. Uh, four on the turn, bet again. See the call. Oh man, what an awful river card, King of Diamonds. Uh, gonna be a check here. Man, if I could ever find a fold, <laughs> this would be the card. Uh, I'm going to be 4-betting Ace-King pre a lot, but Diamond's coming in not having one. i probably just end up calling, but like, what is his bluff here? Jeez. Oh, Worst river card in the deck, exactly, the King of Diamonds. Oh, I mean, I don't think he's value jamming King-Queen. I could be wrong, though. That's part of what I'm worried about. All right, I guess we just call here. Shows the set. Oh, the river tried to let me get away. Just couldn't make the fold. The river tried to let me make the fold. Maybe can make a big fold on like that being the only card we fold on the river. I don't know. Um, un open under the gun, big blind call, or under the gun, sorry, under the gun opens, we bet, they call. Uh, pretty tough river card here. <laughs> so the SPR is solo. I'm trying to think if I want to value jam or check call. I think I'm going to value jam, but again, this is a pretty bad one. Hard to find bluffs. All right, we're gonna jam. This might not be good. If we get snap call, we're probably in bad shape. Yeah. So another top pair, <laughs> top kicker versus the set. Uh, second time we've gotten a, a spot like that. Top pair, top kicker versus a set in a three bet pot, and then got a river we potentially can get away. But anywho, end up stacking off there. All right, open under the gun, small blind, three bets. We're just gonna flat ace king suited. Uh, sometimes we'll do this from under the gun. Bets half pot call here. Uh, turn spade, interesting turn. So we pick up the gutter and they bet. I'm trying to think if I want to jam or just check call. I think we're just going to check call. The ace high can sometimes win when it goes check check as well. And then seven river. So unfortunately, if they bet again, we'll be folding this river. They do. So pick up a lot of equity. The turn can't be terrible to jam, obviously. But I don't mind keeping in their bluffs of like their ace jack, ace queen here. So, anyways, let it go. So we have under the gun open, button like min three bets here. So we're gonna four bet, get a call, ace high flop. And gonna go super small. Jams. So there's a ton of money in pre, we don't have a diamonds. So it could be some draws. It feels like we just get shown an ace a lot here, but we're calling 159 to win 336. I think going to call, but I don't know if this is actually good. Uh, shows ace eight. It's always painful. So anyways, lots of money in there. We decide to call. Ends up not working out with the queens. Here we have button open, small blind flat. We call big blind queen jack. Go to the flop, ace queen four. Uh, see a little over half here. Plan is the call. Uh, six turn check. And see a bet again. I'm gonna call one more here. And then six river check. Would be kind of fun to turn into a bluff. So we blocked them by having ace queen and queen's full for boats. And then I can rep like a six here if he decides to bet river. I'm gonna have more six x than him, especially because he can't have six x of spades. This actually kind of feels like a fun river bluff. Um. The thing is, it's not for much more, but it's also a spot where maybe he just doesn't think I'm bluffing then. So I'm actually going to bluff jam here for not much more, hoping he would fold the ace. Just even though he's getting a really good price, hope this is a spot where it just looks like nobody ever has a bluff. And again, I think the queen's great because we block pocket queens. And then we block ace queen, which I think the ace queen would probably still end up calling. But even like ace king in his spot here, I think can fold. It's a tough spot because he's getting an insane price, but at the same time, it's like hard to imagine someone bluffing here in my spot a lot. Um, and he can't have like six X of spades. We do worry about ace six exactly. We worry about getting slow rolled by friend to stream as well. Um, but we're gonna try to go for the bluff here. It'd be nice if we were a bit deeper um, to give him not quite as good of a price, but we are gonna go for the jam as a bluff. Yeah, 
and eventually calls ace queen good call good call so like i said hard to have many bluffs really sucks that he has ace queen there because i think like even ace king we can maybe get to fold so having the queen was nice but uh bluff doesn't work out open cutoff button bet flatting six five suited here uh flat bottom pair so I think we'd probably be calling against small here. We do have a couple backdoors, or we have the straight backdoor, but then we can also hit a five or a six. That's going to be pretty good. Five on the turn. Go for the check. So I'm trying to think if I want to check raise here or not. I'm probably just going to call, and then I would check bomb a non-club. Keep in some bluffs here. He's not going to get, I'm not going to, the eight I would do a lot more check raising on. Um, the five I'm going to do less. So I think he can still jam like ace, king, ace, queen on good rivers. And def, like basically any ace, x can maybe bet here. Now, it's hard for him to win a lot if he has ace-queen, so he might make a nitty check. Um, but, like, ace-king is obviously going to bet. And does have the ace-king, so yeah, just be super cool over him there. Very fortunate with the 6-5. Right, raise ace-8 suited, get called, flop huge, flop two overs, and ace-high flush draw. And start with half. And that is the nuts. So a ton of spades turn. Good turn card. Um, bit of an exploit here because they're shorter. We're going to pot it to set up river jam. Whereas normally this is going to be a three-quarter spot. Uh, would not go this size here against bigger stacks. Would want to be staying balanced. And then river's going to be a slight over that jam. They just jam call. Ace jack with the bluff. Ace eight of spades getting paid. All right, put in the four bet here. Um, a little bit worried because I mean, we're at like just under 140 blinds effective, so stacking off that much doesn't feel super great. If we start being like over 150 blinds, I'm going to do a lot more flatting with jacks, whereas like at 100 big blinds, I'm doing a lot of four betting. Uh, so anyways, we get called, flop the overpair. 10, 5, 4. Going small. Uh, we do have to worry about eight traps with aces still. Obviously, set of tens is not, or set of tens is a possibility. Uh, if I want to be really picky, I want like nine five four, not ten five four. But we do still have an overpair without a club. So if we were to get flop raise, we'd probably just get it in. Um, Queen of Hearts turn, interesting turn card. Uh, I'm gonna be a check. And then if we see a bet, probably just a call. Five river block or check going for the block here if we get jammed on kind of gross um i do think against my line specifically here he can potentially have like king queen that would take this line and potentially jam river i think he could probably do that um i think his like aces and kings that were trapped not maybe kings as much but like aces pre that were trapping are going to want to bet turn on double flush draw queen 10 is going to bet we block queen jack um, only one suited of the three combos, though. <sighs> Man, I mean, we do have... To, I think ace-queen he's going to bet, though, when I check to him. On double flush draw. So I'm mainly worried about him going for the value of king-queen. So I think we end up calling jacks against someone that's good, that capable of bluffing here. Whereas we can maybe just fold for a decent amount of people. That hand makes sense, too, with the set. So flats queens pre. They tried to let us get away. Unfortunately, we call off. Um... Yeah, we block one of the flush draws, not the front door missing, though. Not sure on that one. Hijack open, through at ace-queen. See a call, top two on the flop, you like to see it. Or should I say you love to see it? That's usually what I say, <laughs> the classic saying. Um, leads into us, I think just call here. Hope for no diamond. Uh, king turn. So Jack 10 comes in when they're just flatting pre. I don't think they have tons of ace king. I mean, sometimes people like these stats lines do take this line of ace king though, which would be miserable. But I think if they bet here, we just jam. So we'll just get it in. If they have like ace jack, ace 10, these people will call lots. Uh, if they have like king jack of diamonds, king queen, stuff like that, we'll get it in. I'm going to be sick if they have ace king though. So we'll get it in. Get called king eight of diamonds, and fortunately we fade there. So they turn the second pair with the diamond draw. They call it off. Ace queen holds. So cut off open button flat, small blind flat, squeezing his queen out of the big here. 
fold from the cutoff. So the small blind's hand here doesn't really make much sense. It goes open, flat, flat, and then they raise. Sometimes people are doing wacky stuff here, and they just like, for whatever reason, they decide to trap ace. But I think call and flat front. We're just going to jam ace queen here. If they end up trapping us, it's annoying. But like this range, does this line just does not make much sense here. So I'm going to go for a jam for that reason. And see a call. Pocket fives. Oh, we got a flip four. We hit the ace, though. Queen on the turn, and we are going to win the flip. Here we open 10-9. Big blind defend off 30 blinds. We flop bottom two. And a five on the turn. Bet again. And just going to be getting it in here. A bit worrisome to lose two pairs, but like try and target ace, queen, ace, jack, stuff like that. So we get it in. Ace, nine. Wow, two pair versus two pair on the flop. Pretty brutal. And I guess uh, double up flip there. Right, raise ace, queen against the limper. And through ace to the flop, flop top pair, ace, eight, two. Two shorter stacks here. Decent amount of money in pre. See so a call, three spades turn, just gonna keep betting here. Snap call, queen reverse, we over two pair, perfect. And just a slight over bet jam here, we're gonna go for the value. Snap calls, oh, they had a set, oh geez. The river card, what a tease, what a tease, we get stacked.